What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here for another predicted lineup. The Europa League is back, not on a Thursday night, but on a Wednesday night. Yeah, why are they getting us ready night? for next season? That's why. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're getting prepared. <laughs> the, the club requested it. Look, we want to be playing on a Wednesday night. <laughs> you play Thursday. Cause <laughs> 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 All right, let's do this. Um, look. Do you know why it is on th Wednesday? Do you know? No idea. I've got no idea. No idea. I'm, just I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I don't care. But it gives us an extra day. Uh, yeah, exactly. Rest, That's so. why I'm not going to complain. I think it's good yeah. for us. But it's just weird. Um, is it COVID? Maybe it's COVID. <laughs> what, 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 what's, I don't know. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it's COVID, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it could be something you can only be on England. You can only travel to England on a Wednesday. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? They're doing a lot of strange things these yeah, days. But true. look. Press conferences has been done. Team news is out. Obviously, um, we're taking into this tie a 4-1 lead. So, yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? But team news has been... What's team news? Well, yeah, Jose has been talking. He said um, Aurier is not going to be fit for this game, but he should be fit for the Burnley game on the weekend. Good if news. not that game, then Fulham. But judging by how Mourinho usually phrases things, he, that probably means Burnley, which is very positive. Um, in terms of Lo Celso, the pictures of him back on the pitch, uh, Mourinho has confirmed. Lo Celso. So Lo Celso's back in training. However, he's not going to be fit to start um, for another couple of weeks. Um, according to the... Um, Evening Standard, Dan Kilpatrick, he's claiming that he's aiming for the Arsenal North London derby. You know what's going to happen? We're going to get his fitness levels up against uh, in the first leg of the Europa League game, and then unleash him against the Gunas. He's, he's going exactly. He's going to he's going to terrorise him. Um, like I'm looking forward to that. Hope yeah. So hopefully uh, he'll be he'll be fit sooner rather than later. And he also confirmed a number of young academy players are set to be on the bench for this game, confirming um, Jamie Bowden, um, Mark Levinier. Dane Scarlett, um, who are all in Hungary, they're all going to be on the bench. And Mark and, as and well. And Niall right? John and Dylan McCande, yeah, are all going to be on the bench. And he says if uh, the game goes um, as expected, not as expected, if the game goes in a good way, then he'll give the kids uh, time to be involved and give them some minutes. It'd be nice to see if we're winning 1 or 2 nil by half-time. Um, if, if they, they get half-half half or something. Yeah, yeah. If, they could get, if we could get Dane Scarlett a 45 minute of football. Yeah, that'd be, that'd, that'd if we bring Dane Scarlett on, I would like to uh, play him alongside Vinicius and have a little target man so he can hold, knock it down to him and stuff. Yeah, and he knew, well, he came on. What was he against Ludogorets? Nearly got a goal. Should have had a missed a one on one. He's. I think whenever I've seen him in his little cameos, I've been yeah, very I've impressed. Been impressed. I've been impressed. Um, so yeah, that's team news. A bit more positive. Um, Mourinho's been very defiant in his press conference. Go check out our press conference reaction um, for all that, all the information on the, what he said. But. Um, yeah, he said we're going to go. We're going to start with a strong team. His words, uh, but a very similar lineup to what we started in Hungary. So we're going to try and predict what he means by that. All right, so let's get into it. We're going to go for a four-two-three-one formation as always in goal. Joe Hart. We're going to go for Loris to have a bit of a rest in this one. Yeah, um, yeah. I think Joe Hart didn't play the first leg, but given that we're four-one up, I think he will. He'll probably trust him for this one. I'm thinking. Right back, uh, going to sit with Matt Doherty. Uh, played, he played ninety minutes in the last leg, did he? In the last leg, he played forty-five. Against forty-five, West Ham, right? Against West Ham. No, I'm talking about in the last leg. Yeah, he played Europe. ninety minutes yeah. against them. But I'm saying last game, he played forty-five. Yeah. Came on for so, Tanganga. So Matt Doherty, right back. Yeah, I think so. Left back Ben Davis was in the press conference, so we think it's going to be him. And Regulon's uh, back uh, as well. Yeah, Regulon obviously played the last game, so we're backing Regulon to be back in for the Premier League. Yeah, and I think Regulon also, from what I saw, he, I, I, I think it's better for him if he just has a bit of a rest as well and recovers and goes again for against Burnley. So, yeah, Davis uh, would uh, would the left back spot. Um, in the centre-back positions, we're going to go for a partnership of Toby Alderweireld, who Jose Mourinho has confirmed that he's going to be there, yeah. 100%. And then alongside him, we're going to go for Davinson Sanchez. Um, the thinking behind that is probably because we think it'll be Dyer and Toby potentially uh, in the league. Yeah. Well, or Roden. Or Roden. I think he's already, yeah, so he's already confirmed Toby's going to start in this game. Um, so it's all about who he's going to partner. I don't, I don't see... Uh, why he would choose um, a Dyer for this one when the game is finished already. So I think he's going to go with Sanchez because Rodin's cup tied. So that's the thinking behind this one. Mm. Uh, so let me just run through that with you so far with the defence. That's Joe Hart in goal, Doherty right back, Davis left back with the middle two of Toby, Davis and Sanchez. Double pivot, we're going to stick with the same double pivot that it was in uh, the last leg um, against Wolfsburg. So that's Winks and Musa Sissoko. Yep. Uh, Hoy Bien and Dombele were rested for the last leg and I expect that to be the same case for sure um, we're going to not I don't think they're going to play from the start mm. 
Uh, left side of the attack, we're going to go Stephen B. Yep. Stephen Bergvine. He'll have a try. He didn't start actually the last leg, did he? But he actually even wasn't even in the squad on Sunday, mm. which was a bit, bit curious. A bit curious. But um, I think he'll play in this one. Right hand side, Gareth Bell. Uh, Dan Kilpatrick has said that he expects Bell to be in the lineup for this one. Mourinho was actually talking about Bell a lot in his press conference. About um, he was asked whether he needs convincing about Bell now, or or has he convinced uh, him given his performance in the last forty five minutes against West Ham? And he said Bell doesn't need to do anything to convince me. We already know how special he is. We w- I would like to play him every minute I can, but unfortunately, we it's about evolution. It's about getting him his minutes. He can't play ninety minutes at the moment. Um, but I think again. He starts this game, build up his fitness, and hopefully maybe we could even be looking towards our start against Burnley. And then in the middle, we're going to go for Delhi Ali. Yeah. Um, he's got to put in a much better performance, doesn't he? Well, we played all right last week, but then he didn't play very well against West Ham when he came on. Yeah. So another opportunity for Delhi. Um, again, uh, for, for, uh, for me, I think he's going to start in this game against Wolfsburger, and hopefully he can have another good game. And then up top, we're going to go for Carlos, Vinicius, Harry Kane and Human Son, both to get a rest for Just 90 for sure. minutes. For sure. I don't think Son, no need for him to start this game. We're 4-1 up. It's not like the goals are the biggest issue here. And uh, obviously, Vinicius came on and got a goal. It wasn't the best... What? He wasn't amazing in the 45, but he got his goal and you've got, got to give him respect for that. And uh, so I think he starts this one. Yeah, I completely agree with that. So let me just run through that team with you one more time. So that's Joe Hart in goal, Doherty right back, Davis left back, a middle two of Toby Alderweireld and Davinson Sanchez, Harry Winks and Moussa Sissoko in the double pivot with Bergvine on the left, Bale on the right, Delhi in the middle with Carlos and Vinicius up top. What score prediction are you going for? 3-0. 3-0. I'm going to go 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. Actually, I'm going to go 2-1. 2-1. Because, you know, you just feel that sometimes when when you have such a convincing scoreline in the first leg, it's so easy to get your foot off the gas in the second leg. It's true. And I, I just feel like um, this could be a case of that to yeah. tomorrow. The only reason I think we might score a few goals is I just think we need that good feeling back. And maybe the players feel that as well. And obviously, after that really damaging defeat against West Ham... It will need to take any defeat, any victory as it comes, and I think in this game it's a perfect opportunity to get a few goals, get a bit of a positive feeling going to the game on Sunday, and hopefully uh, we can start a bit of a revival. But we we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. All right. Well, that is our predicted lineup. Let me know your predicted lineup in the comment section below. Let me know your predicted scoreline in the comment section below. Come and join us for our live watch along for the Wolfsburg second leg tomorrow at quarter to five, five p.m. kickoff, and then after that, it is your chance to have your say in the post match fan show so come and join us for both of those big live streams tomorrow thanks for joining us today like subscribe and comment and as always come come on you spurs. spurs